Dear viewers, Welcome back to our channel. On the 8th, Sinuk announced that China had discovered its first deep water deep reservoir oil field in the Pearl River mouth basin, the Kaipingnan oil field, with proven geological reserves of 1.02 billion tons of oil equivalent. The announcement of the discovery of China's first large deep water deep reservoir oil field, the Kaipingnan oil field, by Sinuk has sent shockwaves through the global oil and gas industry. This discovery not only injects new vitality into China's energy security, but also represents a significant breakthrough in deep water deep reservoir exploration technology. The proven geological reserves of the Kaipingnan oil field reach 1.02 billion tons of oil equivalent, with its high quality light crude oil and high production rates drawing attention. However, Behind this achievement, we cannot help but ponder, how can China balance the technological and environmental risks of deepwater deep reservoir oil and gas development in the face of increasingly severe energy challenges? Does China have sufficient technological capabilities and experience to cope with the challenges of deepwater deep reservoir oil and gas development? Additionally, Will deepwater deep reservoir oil and gas development cause irreversible damage to marine ecological environments? The oil field represents the largest commercial discovery of nuclear mixed rock type depressions globally, showcasing the broad prospects of China's deepwater exploration and further consolidating the country's offshore oil and gas resource reserves, aiding in ensuring national energy security. According to reports, the Kaipingnan oil field is approximately 300 kilometers from Shenzhen, with an average water depth exceeding 500 meters and a maximum well depth of 4,831 meters, producing light crude oil. Oil and gas layers were encountered at 100.6 meters during drilling, with an average daily production of over 1,000 tons of oil equivalent, breaking China's record for deep water deep reservoir oil and gas testing production. Kaiping Depression has complex geological conditions, with crisscrossing faults and challenging exploration. We deepen our understanding of hydrocarbon source rock distribution and oil and gas accumulation laws, identify oil and gas enrichment zones, and re-evaluate resources, said Lu Jun, chief geologist of Sinuk's Shenzhen branch. Since 2023, intensive well deployments have been carried out in the Kaipingnan area with four exploration wells testing high-yield industrial oil flow, confirming the hydrocarbon potential of the Kaiping Depression. Zhang Weigua, general manager of Sinuk's Shenzhen Deepwater Engineering Technology Center, introduced that the geological conditions of China's near-sea basins are more complex than those of onshore oil fields at the same depth in the central and western regions. Exploration and development teams applied a system of technologies to speed up offshore drilling and enhance efficiency, reducing the overall construction period by more than 40 days. Independently developed efficient drainage technology suitable for deep-sea oil and gas fields, Tiger Whale, has awakened the black gold dormant on the seabed, providing technical support for the evaluation and development of the Kaipingnan oil fields reserves. Experts suggest that compared to the shallow water and mid-shallow strata traditional exploration fields, China's exploration level in the deep water deep reservoir field is low, serving as an important replacement area for future oil and gas reserves and production growth. The discovery of the billion-ton Kaipingnan oil field further reveals the exploration potential in China's deep water deep reservoir field. In addition to the Kaipingnan oil field, China has other important deep water deep reservoir oil fields, including 1. Hangzhou Bay Basin Deep Water Oil and Gas Field, located at the junction of Zhejiang Province and Shanghai Municipality, the Hangzhou Bay Basin has some deep water deep reservoir oil and gas resources. The area's geological conditions are complex, including salt structures, complex faults, making drilling difficult. China National Petroleum Corporation and other domestic and foreign partners have conducted exploration and development of deep water deep reservoir oil and gas in this area. 2. South China Sea Basin Deepwater Oil and Gas Field, located in southern China, 
the South China Sea Basin has abundant marine oil and gas resources, including deep water deep reservoir oil and gas fields. For example, China National Offshore Oil Corporation, CNUC, has conducted a series of deep water deep reservoir oil and gas exploration and development projects in the South China Sea Basin, such as the deep water deep reservoir oil and gas exploration in the Kyungdongnan Basin. 3. Bohai Bay Basin Deep Water Oil and Gas Field The Bohai Bay Basin is one of China's important onshore and offshore oil and gas exploration and development areas, where some deep water deep reservoir oil and gas resources also exist. Companies such as China National Petroleum Corporation have conducted a series of deep water deep reservoir oil and gas exploration and development projects in this area. In addition to the Kaipingnan oil field, Another important deep water deep reservoir oil field in China is located in the Kyungdongnan Basin in the South China Sea, where some oil fields also have considerable oil and gas resource reserves. Among them, the Kyungdongnan 19 to 5 oil field developed by China National Offshore Oil Corporation, CNUC, is considered one of the important projects in the South China Sea deep water deep reservoir oil and gas field and is known as the largest oil field in China's offshore. The Kyungdongnan 19 to 5 oil field is one of the important deep water deep reservoir oil fields developed by China National Offshore Oil Corporation, CNUC, in the South China Sea Kyungdongnan Basin. Located in the deep water area of the South China Sea, the geological conditions of the oil field are complex, with water depths of over 1,200 meters, making it a high-risk and challenging oil and gas exploration and development area. However, after years of continuous exploration and development, the Kyungdongnan 19 to 5 oil field has been proven to have abundant oil and gas resources with huge reserves. The oil field has adopted a series of advanced technologies and processes, including deep water drilling technology, seabed production systems, etc., to achieve efficient exploration and development. The discovery and development of the Kyungdongnan 19 to 5 oil field provide important support for the development and utilization of China's offshore oil and gas resources, with significant implications for China's energy security and marine economic development. Like the Kaipingnan oil field, these deep water deep reservoir oil fields face complex geological conditions and high risks, but through technological innovation and scientific management, they have also achieved certain achievements. The discovery and development of these oil fields are of great significance to China's energy security and economic development. However, China still faces some challenges in the process of deep water deep reservoir oil and gas development. Firstly, there are technical challenges. Deep water deep reservoir oil and gas exploration and development are difficult, requiring the management of complex geological conditions and high risks, which demands China to continue strengthening scientific research and technological innovation to enhance the core technical level of deep water deep reservoir oil and gas development. Secondly, there are environmental protection challenges. Deep water deep reservoir oil and gas development may have potential impacts on marine ecological environments, so China needs to strengthen environmental monitoring and protection, establish strict environmental protection policies and standards to ensure the coordinated development of oil and gas development and marine ecological environments. Finally, there are risk management challenges. Deep water deep reservoir oil and gas development involves high technical and economic risks, and accidents could lead to serious environmental disasters and economic losses. Therefore, China needs to establish a sound risk management system, strengthen accident prevention and emergency response capabilities, and minimize potential risks. The difficulty of deep water deep reservoir oil and gas exploration and development mainly stems from several aspects. 1. Complex geological conditions. Deep water deep reservoir geological conditions are complex and variable, including factors such as strata structure, lithology distribution, and fault structures, leading to uneven and irregular distribution of oil and gas, 
making it difficult to accurately predict oil and gas reserves and distribution. In addition, parameters such as deep water deep reservoir formation pressure and temperature are often high, making drilling and production operations more challenging. 2. High risk working environment. Deep water deep reservoir oil and gas development typically takes place in the marine environment, which is extremely harsh, including adverse sea conditions marine life, and seabed topography, increasing the instability and risk of operations. In addition, deepwater operations often face challenges such as marine ecological protection and environmental pollution prevention, requiring high environmental protection and safety management. 3. High Input, High Return Characteristics Deepwater deep reservoir oil and gas exploration and development require a large amount of capital and technical support including deep water drilling equipment, seabed production facilities, specialized chemicals, and processes, etc., with high costs. Moreover, due to the high exploration difficulty and risk, the investment return cycle is long, increasing investment uncertainty. Therefore, deep water deep reservoir oil and gas exploration and development are difficult, requiring coping with complex geological conditions and high risks. These factors make deep water deep reservoir oil and gas exploration and development a challenging task with high technological content, large investment, long return cycles, and high risks. Internationally, significant progress has been made in deep water deep reservoir oil and gas development, with some countries having rich experience and successful cases in this field. 1. Brazil Brazil is one of the leaders in deep water deep reservoir oil and gas development. Its pre-salt and subsalt areas in the South Atlantic have abundant reserves, and Petrobras has conducted large-scale deep water deep reservoir exploration and development in these areas. The Lula oil field in the pre-salt layer and the Libra oil field in the subsalt layer of the Santos Basin in Brazil are successful deep water deep reservoir oil and gas projects. 2. United States. The United States has also made significant progress in deep water deep reservoir oil and gas development, especially in the Gulf of Mexico region. Oil fields such as Thunder Horse, Mars, and Atlantis in the deep water area are representative projects in the United States. 3. Norway. Norway has conducted successful deep water deep reservoir oil and gas exploration and development in the North Sea region including deep water oil fields such as Snor and Troll. 4. Mexico. Mexico has also made achievements in deep water deep reservoir oil and gas development, especially in the Gulf of Mexico region. Among them, the Kumalubzap oil field is one of Mexico's largest deep water oil fields. The successful cases of these countries in deep water deep reservoir oil and gas development indicate that they have a high level of technology, management, and experience in this field, providing valuable experience and references for global deep water deep reservoir oil and gas exploration and development. In conclusion, let me summarize today's video. I hope it has been inspiring and valuable for you. As a seasoned blogger, I believe that each of us should cherish the importance of oil and gas energy. China National Offshore Oil Corporation recently announced the discovery of its first billion-ton deepwater deep reservoir oil field, reminding us once again that while oil and gas resources are abundant, they are also limited. Therefore, we must cherish and conserve energy more, promote the development and utilization of renewable energy. Although deepwater deep reservoir oil and gas development brings new hopes for energy security, it also faces many challenges, including technological difficulties, environmental risks, etc. Therefore, we should not overly rely on traditional energy sources but actively explore clean energy alternatives, such as solar energy, wind energy, etc. Only in this way can we achieve sustainable development, protect our planet, and leave a better future for our descendants. Let us work together to cherish every drop of oil and gas energy and contribute our own strength to building a beautiful China. Feel free to share in the comments section. That's all for today's video, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.